Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. This is insanity. Let me let me just see if this even focuses on me. There, there we go. It's been insanity today. Uh, we're trying out a new, well, fairly new, Taco Bell release. And I've been running around here like an absolute madman. Uh, trying to get the right angle, you know, the perfect, the perfect money shot for the, the Taco Bell. So it looks its uh, its finest, and uh, you know it's 95 degrees, and I couldn't get the angle. There was one issue here and one issue there, and the lighting was this and that, and then it started raining, and uh, now it's still raining. But you know what? Forget about it. Uh, the rain, the the rain symbolizes the haters, and uh, uh, I don't know. It's rain, is what it is. But anyway. With us today are three items, two of which I've talked about in detail, and the third one is a request. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to actually try it out or not, but people, you know, the, the masses have spoke, and I decided, all right, I'm just going to go do it. Beefy Crunch Burrito from Taco Bell. Uh, it's an inexpensive burrito. In it is, uh, I believe, five ingredients, seasoned beef, nacho cheese, Fritos, chips, seasoned rice, and sour cream. Wow, we're on a roll today with the other uh, the other item from the last review. I couldn't even remember it, but I could actually remember five things this time around. So we're we're on a roll. I'll tell you that. Anyway, though, it's an inexpensive, uh, you know, promo, so to speak, where they actually have the uh, beefy crunch duo for two bucks, where you get the beefy crunch burrito and then a drink i.e. Baja, or as they like to say in some areas, Baja Blast, for just two bucks, which, you know, of course, by Taco Bell standards, even that is a good deal. Burrito. And, uh, I wanted to spice it up. I wanted to live a little. Some fire sauce. For said burrito. Okay, let's try it out. You know, whenever it comes down to Taco Bell, a lot of people like to hate on them. I know I can, myself. But I always try to have some sort of impartiality when it comes down to it. Where lately, of course, we've, we've been having uh, quite a number of experiences, you know, that haven't been the positive, or at least the most positive in the world of uh, Taco Bell consumption. But you know what I say? They, if they keep releasing items, I'll keep reviewing them. I'll keep trying them out. And you know what? I keep my fingers crossed that this is going to be a good one. Because you never know. They might have been in a uh, streak of, of bad items, but listen, you just don't know until you try it. So we know what's in this beefy crunch burrito. I know what's in it. I think we all know what's in it. I told most of you what's in it. So, with that, let's just try it out. Beefy Crunch Burrito from Taco Bell. Going in.
Mm. You know, this one's odd. To be straight up honest with you. Everything about this item just screams to me that I should just be running, like, an attack campaign against it. Yet, in all honesty, it doesn't taste that bad. I'll be, I'll be, I'd be quite fair. I think when people see... And this is just something that I think I say almost in every single Taco Bell review because it is an issue that some Taco Bell locations have. I'm not going to say that they all have it because not all of them do, but certainly a number of them do. Where I said it before, I'm going to be going to be concise, going to be quick. They show the ad; it shows you one thing. In reality, you get something different. Of course, in the ad for this, they show that it's going to be teeming with beef and uh, rice and all that good stuff and in reality you know everything kind of just as you can see again for like the 15th cross section uh, everything just kind of blends together I mean you can definitely see some of the beef right there you can see some of the chips you can kind of see some of the rice and then the sour cream and uh, nacho cheese kind of just mixes together everything's mixed together there Hmm. You know, it's not quite as proportionate as what they market, but it doesn't taste that bad, honestly. I thought I was just gonna have to grill them, but uh, no, actually, it all blends together pretty well. I'll be, I'll be quite, I'll be quite fair with you. Usually, these types of items, and this is just my personal taste. I try not to let bias get into anything, but sometimes when these items, everything just blends together and it kind of, kind of just ends up being like a soup you know, wrapped up in a tortilla, it really grosses me out. Uh, but I don't know, it's just, it, it, it blends together a lot better than I expected it to. I can't really complain. There might not be the largest amount of seasoned beef in there, but the, the flavor of it is more potent than I, I actually anticipated it to be. You, know, you can actually distinguish it. You know, I've had problems where I've, you know, I've bitten in and I've, I think I've said, you know, where's the beef? I, I can taste it. I, I can identify it, you know? Might not be a ton of it in there, but I can actually taste it this time around. Same thing with the chips. You know, look, there's a chip right there. Well, that, that didn't work. I was trying to... I don't know what I was trying to do with it, but that's what we call a chip. It's about uh, C-H-I-P. Chip. Uh, but you could identify those too. In the first bite that I took, I could try. I could, I could taste it. The Frito, you know, the Frito chips there. Cheesy, absolutely. The sour cream. That's the one thing that you know. It's certainly potent, but kind of just blends in together with the cheese. You could definitely taste a lot more of that nacho cheese than you can the sour cream. And the rice too, though. It, it blends in. And I think just all of these ingredients, just the combination of them all, blends together actually you know it's actually decent I, I i can't complain i thought i was really gonna be disappointed in this one but despite any portion sizes or amounts of this or that uh it's it, it, it just tastes better than i expected it to be i'll be quite fair quite frank i should say uh we're just gonna put some fire sauce on as is obligatory You want some spiciness, always go with the fire sauce. I think that's just customary. You know, it just ties it all together well, but if you aren't the spice connoisseur, then, you know, think otherwise. To be honest, though, it actually tastes pretty good. It's a cheap burrito, a cheap snack. It has a good deal, though. I mean, for two bucks, let's be honest. You actually have this, which actually doesn't taste bad, and you can get a drink like this. Uh, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. You know, everyone pretty much has the pocket change where you can go ahead and you can find something uh, to be able to get this. 
And uh, to be to be fair, as I said, the burrito isn't that bad. It's not going to be the best thing that you've ever had. And uh, as I should say, probably the quality of this will vary. Taco Bell to Taco Bell because I've had my issues with them. But in the end, the burrito, everything just goes together well. It's a nice snack. I wouldn't really call it a whole meal. And then you can get a drink of your choice. Uh, if I ever, you know, if I, if I ever go to Taco Bell, I always go with the Baja Blast and the cinema, uh, Cinnabon Delights for dessert, because uh, it just works out great. So that said, for the price, I mean, they actually, they surprised me on this one. They did a pretty good job. Uh, I can't really, I, I, I don't know. It just kind of blindsided me, I suppose, is the best way of saying it, because it just kind of, it got me. I, I didn't think it was going to be this good, to be honest. So out of 10... I'm going to be giving this an 8.0 out of 10. And again, not the best thing in the world, but far from the worst. On a final note, it's a Thursday. You got a shortwave radio listening to the newest radio broadcast, VORW Radio International. Check it out on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash VORW underscore radio underscore INT. 6 p.m. Eastern tonight, listen in on TuneIn via radio station WRMI. Really hope you can give the show a listen. Uh, some good insight and music coming your way. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be with you again in a few days with another video. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Have a pleasant weekend.